greatest half-man, half-god in Roman mythology returns to the big screen. The legend of Hercules shows our timeless hero battling the Nemean lion, swooning over a Greek princess, and dispatching hordes of warriors. Unfortunately, all of these epic adventures feel like they're told through the lens of a 13-year-old who plays way too much Xbox. The story follows Herc as he falls in love, marches into battle, gets enslaved, fights as a gladiator, topples a government, becomes a legendary champion of the people, and connects with his real father Zeus. According to the Slap Together script, all that happens over the course of a few days. Hercules is a busy guy. We are with you, Hercules! <laughs> The movie has a few interesting visuals and a handful of action scenes that are kind of interesting to watch, but otherwise the film looks like a murky mess, told in front of a green screen with big muscly actors shouting at each other for long periods of time. It follows many of the traditions of the sword and sandal epics that have come before it, but adds nothing new to the genre or improves on any of the films that it blatantly rips off like 300, Gladiator, or Clash of the Titans. I'm John, at the movies.